everybody. So, remember last time I said we're going to read the other book called Magic Animal Friends that every, like a lot of girls already know this book. It's the same is this Daisy Meadows and if you if you know magic magic uh wait, I, wait oh yeah rainbow magic you must know magic animal friends too because they're both daisy Ma Ma meadows so and today we're gonna read the cutest one puppy muddy pups darling rescue but today we're just like gonna read it for like uh, one one chapter. Okay, so let's see. Oh, and here's this is the bumper special edition. Okay, let's get ready. There's more books here. See, this is lucky lucky and this is what molly ellie bella and this is puppy mm -hmm. okay so what are we waiting for let's get started magic animal friend so later on there's gonna be a secret well don't tell anyone See here it says, can you keep the secret? Okay. Magic Animal Friend. Puppy Muddy Pup Starling Rescue. This is a floor snap. You can see a lot of things here like the sunshine meadow. See here. And the maze. And the Toadstool Cafe. And of course, a friendship tree. Okay, let's get ready. Okay, here's a secret. Don't tell anyone, okay? Can you keep a secret? I thought you could. Then I'll tell you about an enchanted wood. It lines through the door in the old oak tree. Let's go there now. Just follow me. Well, find a fan tree that never ends and meet the magic animal friends. Chapter 1 A Runaway Dog. And the chapter two, chapter three, chapter four, and chapter five. We'll read it next time. And I'm sure we need a lot of days to finish this whole chapter book. Chapter one. A runaway dog. White snow had just started to fall as Lily Hart spotted her best friend Jess. Forrester coming out of her house across the land. She ran down the foresty garden path to meet her. I hope you're coming to help in the Wild Field Life Hospital, she called. Covering her dark bobbed hair with a woolly hat, Jess laughed as she pulled her earmuffs over her blonde curls. Of course I am, she said, checking the land was clear. You know I'd came I'd come every day if I could. The girls live across the road from another in the village of Brightly. Jess, her dad and Pixie the kitten shared shard a cottage while Lily and her parents had a house with a large barn at the bottom of the garden. Mrs. and Mr. Hart has had co 
converted the barn into a helping pal wildlife hospital for sick and injured animals. Billy and Jack has helped to care the animals until they could be re released back into the wild. We've just rescued some babies woodpeckers, Lily said, taking Jess past the barn to the a new arrivalry. It was a special enclosure with room for birds to fly around inside. Mr. Hart was filling the a nest box. See? This is I think this this is a bird. With wood chips, and Mrs. Hart was crouched inside the arrivey with a big basket. She blew a strand of, a, of dark hair away from her eyes and grinned at them. Hello, you two. These wood peaker chicks have hatched very late in the year. We're looking after them until they grew up. Would you like to introduce them to their cozy new nest box yes please lily and jess said eagerly then peered into the basket the chick the chicks flapped their black back black and white wings chirping quick quick i'm going to make some hot chocolates said mr hart standing up Come up to the house when you've sleeped it. You'll need warming up. Once the nest box was ready, Jess and Lily gently lift the tiny wood pickers inside. Quick, quick! They charted. Can we watch them for a bit, Dad? Asked Lily. Well, be very quiet. Of course, he replied it. Pop the lid back on when you've finished. We don't want them getting snowed on. He waved goodbye as he followed Mr. Hart back to the house. The chicks used their long point beaks to poke about in the wood chips. They trying to make a cozy hole to sit in, said Jess. Aren't they sweet? Suddenly, Jess heard barking. It sounds like there's a dog in the land, she said. I wonder who it belongs to. Lily closed the nest box lid, and the two girls ran to peer over the head. A small brown dog was standing underneath a pine tree. Its lead was trailing behind it and it was barking at something up into the branches. Just pointed down the land. A boy she recognized from their class at school was calling Barney. Here boy, it's it's a she said, let's catch Barney for him. They quietly creeped up behind the runaway dog. He was so busy starting into the tree that he didn't notice them. Lily grabbed the lead and just rubbed Barney's soft ears. Only came running up to them. Thanks, you two, he panted. Barney, you're so naughty, he tickled. The dog chin. Home time for you. As they went off, Barney left meets puppy, pal Prince, and 
the newly fan fanning show. Long silently while signs once. Jess starts back to the Wild Life Hospital. A stop when she re- realized Lily was still looking up into the pine tree. What's wrong? she asked. I was wondering why Barney was barking at, tr- at the tree, said the Lily. Then I thought I saw a flash of gold. Yes, look! she cried, pointing up to where a beautiful green eye cast stepped lightly along a branches for her. It's Goldie! The cat leaped into her arms, purring and rubbling he, her head against the leaf's chin. The girls knew Goldie well. She was a magical cat who lived in Friendship Forest, a secret world full of talking animals. Goody had taken the girls on four adventures there. We haven't seen you for ages, Goody. We said we missed you. Just drove the cat Golden's fur. I wonder why she come back here today. Maybe Friendship Forest is in danger again. Lily shrugged. I hope not. The girls had worked with Goldy to stop a nasty witch called Griselda from talking over the forest. At the end of their last adventure, the girls had made a new home in a swamp of Griselda's servants, the Boggit. This had convinced the creatures to stop helping the witch with her plan to drive the animals out of their forest. The cat jumped out of Lily's arms and turned towards the hard garden, mewing loudly. She wants us to follow her, Jess said. So, next time we're going to read the chapter 2, which is the Flower Festival. So, see you next time. Remember to like the videos and subscribe my channel. Bye!